Hey guys, this is Namir Hamza and this is the unboxing video of Samsung Jet. Uh, this is already unboxed phone but I'm gonna show you just how it was packed originally. So I packed it again. This is the original packing and with the Samsung tradition you have another box inside this one. Okay, this is pretty simple one. You open it like that and at the front you have the phone. Oh, this phone looks absolutely beautiful and the build quality is superb. I have the battery inside and the phone is fully operational but we'll get to the operation later. So the phone goes here. Okay, let's go to the next floor. There you have a... Yeah, that's the address to the Samsung's Middle East Asia website. And that's the PC Studio software that's a leather pouch and it's a pouch that allows you to listen to calls while the phone is inserted into the pouch as you can see uh, there are two buttons for the cube and this space here for the speakerphone for using call apart from that you have the headphones the headphones look pretty nice as you can see here it looks like yes these are steel areas the sound quality is pretty net as well and of course you have the mic and the button that can control the calls and a small volume what do you say roller roller to control the volume okay standard charger Yes, and there's another thing about this charger. The charger is actually micro USB, which means that this charger can also charge the Nokia N97, which also has this port. That also means that Samsung and Nokia are finally making some standard so that both of these companies can share at least some accessories together. And of course, a USB cable to connect your phone to the computer. Sadly, there is no TV out cable provided in this. Okay, let's move towards the phone now. The phone has pretty basic layout like the old touchscreen phones. You have US 3.2 inch AMOLED uh, screen. Down there, two buttons for handling the call and one cubicle button. Uh, up there, you have the frontal camera for making video calls. With that, the proximity sensor and the speakerphone for making calls. On the left side, you have volume rocker. On the right side you have the screen guard with that a camera button and this is I think called the magic gate button. Mm -hmm. On the top you have the micro USB port. Mm -hmm. Of course it's hidden under this latch. With that a 3.5 millimeter audio jack which can also be used for TV out. At the back you have the 5 megapixel camera and the beautiful back cover that changes color as soon as you uh, put it against the light but it's glossy so you can see a lot of fingerprints down there you have the speakerphone for all your multimedia files okay let's turn this baby on first thing you'll notice uh, after you unlock the phone is that the screen is very sharp and very beautiful why is it so sharp because the screen actually has a resolution of 480 by 800 pixels yes uh, the screen is only 0.2 of an inch bigger than the Samsung Star but the resolution has been doubled from 400 by 240 to uh, 800 to 480 and the phone the screen actually has AMOLED technology which means the phone has brilliant colors and the viewing angles are just endless okay let's jump in this is a, a Samsung touchscreen phone so it has widgets and now uh, you can use more widgets than ever before why because this phone has a powerful 800 megahertz processor accompanied by a 256 megabyte ram uh, which means this phone is never slow although the software is a bit laggy so you can't effect uh, can't expect lightning fast operations from this okay let's move into the menu the menu has been divided into three parts as well unlike the or Samsung Star where most of the options were hidden under more menus and menus which was kind of fiddly and frustrating at times as well. 
uh, that's a good thing that Samsung has put this uh, into uh, has taken notice of it and now this has three screens the touch system is also very good and better than the old star uh, because although it has touch resistive technology but Samsung has taken it to another level and this is as good as all those touch capacitive devices and now you can see there are some applications already running which means this phone has multitasking and how can you switch between all those applications you just press and hold this button and there you have it you can choose which application to use and just tap it to go there and if you want to end it all just tap here apart from that it's pretty much same as the star although it has some little features um, uh, extra on star but nothing different of course it has GPS and Wi-Fi which is very good mm -hmm. uh, Samsung was Samsung star was originally available without the Wi-Fi which was kind of which kind of sucked but now this has Wi-Fi this is not a full review of this phone I'll post it later but this is just the first impression views of this phone and I must say the screen is beautiful this is the, I haven't seen any phone with better screen than this it's sharp and the phone is really fast due to that 800 megahertz processor and looks beautiful the camera is very brilliant and I would also like to mention that this camera can record video in 720 by 480 which is standard definition size and it's brilliant this phone can record widescreen footage that you can actually put on the web uh, so th this this phone is brilliant But that's it. I shall post the full review uh, in some time Till then my name is Hamza Signing out